Santiago Henrique Gomez da Rocha was born February 4th in 1988 in the South American country of Brazil. In his adult life, Tiago would take on the role of a security guard, but from 2011 through 2014, he would also moonlight as a serial killer that, by his own admission, took the lives of 39 people. This is his story. Little is publicly known about Tiago's early life growing up in Brazil, but Tiago himself would tell investigators that his murderous thoughts and urges began around the time when he was 11 years old. Tiago has made the claim that at age 11, he was sexually assaulted by a neighbor of the family. From this point forward, a rage would build inside him, and with no outlet for release, Tiago stated that he would eventually take out his inner fury on people in order for it to subside. In serial killer circles, a pattern tends to form when investigating. There is usually a reason the people murdered were selected, or a reason behind the madness itself, at least to the one committing the acts. These factors generally help to build a profile which in turn helps to catch the serial killer. But in the case of Tiago, things were different. There simply did not seem to be any sort of pattern to his murders, making building a profile, let alone catching him, a difficult prospect for Brazilian authorities. But what we have learned, mostly from Tiago himself, is that he would often approach targets on a motorbike and shout, robbery, before shooting them dead. But even though Tiago would often shout robbery, almost nothing would ever be stolen from his victims. Tiago would also target the homeless in the community, as well as find targets in the homosexual population. Several other targets included women of various ages, with 16 of his claimed 39 victims being women, the youngest of which was only 14 years old. But it would not be any of the murders or the investigation from Brazilian police that would land Tiago behind bars. Instead, his capture all came down to the license plate on his motorbike. You see, Tiago happened to be using a fake license plate on his motorbike and was caught when the plates were run and he was arrested for the violation. This only compounded things as Tiago was already on the police radar after facing trial for stealing a plate from another motorbike. A special investigation team would pick up on this, and after a failed murder attempt in which the victim was able to partially identify Tiago, alongside his arrest on the fake plate, they were able to search his home that he shared with his mother. When investigators searched, they found a motorbike, a number of stolen license plates, and a 38 revolver, which was used in the various murders. While in custody, Tiago would tell his story and detail the events of his sexual assault as a child. He also noted that he would feel remorse for the victims that he murdered, which, in turn, only helped to fuel his inner anger even more. He stated that his urges would subside after each murder, 
but that they would always return with time. As for the victims themselves, they held no connection to each other or to Tiago. They were so random, in fact, that he simply called his victims by the numbers 1 through 39. Tiago would tell investigators about each and every murder that he committed. He accurately pinpointed the location where each took place, as well as described the emotions that he felt while carrying out the murders. After being placed into jail awaiting trial, Tiago stated that his urges would often surface from time to time. It has been reported that Tiago has gone as far as asking the guards in the prison if it would be okay for him to murder other inmates and if he would face trial for those possible murders. Police Chief Eduardo Prado released a statement regarding the matter stating, he asked whether he would face trial if he killed someone else in custody. He still wants to kill. His attitude is very strange. Tiago would eventually be placed on suicide watch after attempting to take his own life by using the glass from a broken light bulb to slit his wrists while waiting in his cell. We're monitoring him constantly. He doesn't love himself, and he's already attempted suicide, stated Prado. He constantly asks for dental floss to take with him when I'm with him. When you ask him if it's so he can kill himself, he just laughs sarcastically. In 2016, Tiago would end up facing trial and find himself convicted of 11 murders. He'd be sentenced to 25 years to life in prison. Thank you for watching this episode of Case Files. If you liked our content here, the best thing you can do is like, comment, and subscribe to help this channel grow so we can provide more content for you on a weekly basis. Until our next episode, stay safe and never stop learning.